Hello everybody, thank you for watching my video. Today I'm gonna talk about uh, Slammer software. Slammer stands for Seismic Landslide Movement Modeled Using Earthquake Records. It's a free software, you can download it from USGS or United States Geological Survey. So it's free. And before you, you can install it to your computer, you need to install the last version or uh, version 7 or higher of, of Gava. You can just go to gava.com and download the last version of Gava, and then you can, then you will be able to install uh, Slammer in your computer. So what is Slammer? So basically, Slammer is a software uh, that can, yet, that you can use to run a sliding block analysis, or it's called also permanent permanent deformation analysis of slopes to calculate or estimate the slope behavior or the uh, new mark displacement uh, during earthquake or during any motions. It's, it's very simple and very straightforward software. So I'm just gonna go through, through the software and show you how to calculate or estimate the displacement. So when you open the software, you're gonna have the getting started tab here as like this one, as you can see. And then you're gonna see there is a rigorous analysis and simplified empirical method. This is basically two tabs you can run the analysis uh, or to estimate the displacement. I'm gonna start with this simplified empirical model. This tab has like uh, in it uh, four different tab inside it. So there is a, in simplified empirical tab there is three different method you can calculate or estimate the displacement. There is rigid flexible cobbled or flexible rigid unified modeled. Let's start with the rigid. So in rigid there is 11 different equations you can calculate the displacement. So once you click on the method you want to use, for example, RADJ and Cycli 2009, uh, you can see the equation that is that has been used in the software to calculate the displacement. So when you click here, I'm gonna just go through one example. It's going to ask you about uh, to enter the critical or yield acceleration, the big ground acceleration, B ground velocity. Uh, sorry, not the big. This is not an act. This is an active. So you're gonna, he's going to ask you three questions or three input: uh, K sub Y or A, A sub C, a BGA or big ground acceleration, and moment magnitude of the earthquake. Of the earthquake. So let's let's put some values here. And yes, if you don't know what is critical acceleration, you can basically go to user guide, and then definition of terms, and then go under critical or the the, the terms that you don't know. For example, critical acceleration, and you will see the entire definition of what is critical acceleration. You should have some background about this before you use this software. Actually, so yeah, you can you can read through this and understand what is critical acceleration okay uh, yeah so let's use some random value here b ground acceleration and earthquake and then we click on compute and here we go that's it and simplified empirical method it's very simple so you can we we use this uh, analysis 2009 and it gives us immediately the estimate it's estimated new mark displacement and in both units actually metric and imperial and metric that's great so if you go to another method you will see that there is uh, another input here ask you about the big ground velocity so each method has different input. This one doesn't ask you about the earthquake magnitude. As you can see, it's inactive. And let's see another tab here, which is called flexible cobble. This is a very famous method to calculate the new mark displacement. It's called uh, the it's in published paper, in, uh, which is Bray and Travasro, 2007. Actually, there is an uh, update for this paper. You can also take a look. It's available online, and it's gonna ask you only to enter the yield acceleration, slide period, specter acceleration, earthquake magnitude, and then compute. And it's gonna give you the results or the displacement here, the mean. 
and probability of zero displacement. So as you can see, it's very straightforward. Uh, the simplified empirical model, you just enter some uh, values uh, in terms of acceleration, critical acceleration or yield acceleration, side period, and you will get the calculation. It's just empirical equations, to, uh, just another way to calculate the displacement. Here is also another tab uh, based on Gibson and others 1998 and 2000. So once you calculate the displacement, you can ca estimate the probability of failure. Like for example, if we have 20 centimeters of displacement, you can see here the probability of failure. So that's it for the simplified empirical model. For uh, rigorous analysis, it's different. So the good thing about this software, you can actually use actual acceleration time history to estimate the displacement of the slope. So here, the software gives you option to select uh, acceleration time history from the database of the software. Like for example, if, if I want um, a strong acceleration that has moment magnitude 6.9 I can just enter that I, I can also specify another uh, inputs like for example areas intensity I can put some range greater than or equal less than I can put range or I can just specify one data here let's say 7.1 and click on search so the software look in the database and show me all the motions uh, that has that has moment magnitude 7.1 or greater you see this tab is moment magnitude so so you th then you can use this motion to estimate the displacement let's so let's go through an example so I, I already showed you how to search a record in the database of the software but what if I have a scaled motion that I got it from another software and I want to use it in this software you can do that you can go to the manage and you can add uh, you can click on add record add files directory to the list so you can add a specific earth acceleration time history from another source and you can enter it to the software and then you can use it in the analysis the software also allow you to convert uh, like basic conversion from centimeter to centimeter cubic centimeter per uh, square second to g's or the opposite or you can scale it um, so you can do different things actually which is good so let's go to rigorous so here we are in the first rigorous we are in the first uh, step which is choose the motion so let's say we we have so you can search it from here or you can select let's clear clear everything here we can also in, in step number one there is another tab you can select specific uh, motion for example let's go and choose Chi Chi or uh, Kobe 1995 this is in Japan and you can select a uh, record name let's see how this looks so this has actually 6.9 magnitude areas intensity 5 which is kind of high uh, duration 9.5 BGA 0.5 so this is like strong motion let's see if we're gonna use it in the analysis so we select it make sure this is selected and we come here down and we say go to the next step or we can also click here to the next step let's, let's click here so the next tab is gonna ask you about the analysis of probability which units you want to use so I'm gonna leave it as a, as a default metric then do you want to scale the motion and this time i'm not going to scale it so I'll just leave it as a default uh, critical acceleration i explain what's critical acceleration if you're not sure about what is critical acceleration you can go to the user guide and definition and then you can see what is uh, what is the critical acceleration or yield acceleration let's choose 0.15 you can actually choose critical acceleration that varies with displacement and you can just choose here uh, I mean choose uh, click on this option and enter your critical acceleration and then you, you choose after you finish from here 
the analysis properties, you go down and choose the type of analysis. So let's choose all of them actually. So I want to see the displacement as a rigid block, coupled, decoupled. Let's in the couple let's put the, the height of the slope is about 20 meters, shear wave velocity above uh, it's about 20, 290, below 320, damping ratio, that's about 5. Uh, I believe this is in percent, yes, reference strain and soil model you have option actually linear or equivalent linear. Let's keep it linear for now and go to the next step. So we are in the next step, step three, uh, and we automatically went to this tab now. So he asked you to display the results. Let's choose three decimals and click on perform analysis. So as you can see here, we have um, the data or the results in terms of displacement. Uh, coupled, decoupled, uh, rigid body or rigid block, but using acceleration time history, not just the k sub y or a sub c. As you can see, we applied uh, the acceleration time history to calculate the displacement. So, for example, if you want to change any of the input, you just click in the select analysis here and you change anything you want actually. Let's go here, go to step three, calculate, and you got the displacement. So you can, it's very straightforward. Let's put this 20, let's put this 30. See what's gonna happen. It's one. One. Two. So this is this is the like in this is the results we got from using one motion. You can actually use more than one motion and see the, all the results here. So you can also plot them. You can save the plot. So I choose two method. You can choose now. You can see in the plot uh, Kobe and JM black rigid and black rigid normal. So we have two different. So yeah, we have rigid block and we have decoupled. We can also sh show three. So you see green, red, and blue. We have three different analysis show showing in the plot. You see that the rigid block is giving me the smallest displacement here, as you can see. I'm wondering if I can auto range both axes. I'm just I just want to see the maximum value of the y of the blue, so maybe I can adjust the x y axis limits. I'm not sure. So the blue looks like the decoupled. No. Yeah, it's the decoupled, which is 19. So it's going to be high at the top. You can actually export this data to Excel and you will have, um, you can change the plot. You can export it. So yeah, you can save it. You can display the dynamic properties, graphical history. Uh, what's this? Let's see. Uh, displacement number of records. So if you have more than records here, you can see them. Save results. Save results as a table. You can save them as a tab delimited, space delimited, comma delimited. That's good. As I said, you can save it and then you can export it to go uh, Excel. And then you, then you can uh, format the plot as you like. So that's it. I hope you like this video. And please uh, click on like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.